Twitter releases three advertising options, including optimization for website conversions. Pinterest app is now available in new languages, including Afrikaans, taking the total tally to 41 languages. In our Web3 news, we have two interesting news items, one from the car manufacturer Porsche and the other from the makers of the very popular kids song, Baby Shark. All these exciting news items and much more coming up in this 184th edition of our Connected Church News with me, Nachi Lazarus. Welcome! This is the show that brings you the top five digital, social media, and Web3 news that you, as a leader of a nonprofit church or a ministry, needs to know in just five minutes. Let's get started. Last week, Twitter released three new advertising options, website conversions optimization, dynamic product ads, and collection ads. Out of this, I wanted to bring your notice to this new optimization called website conversions optimization. This is a very popular option already available in other ad platforms like Facebook. Now this is coming to Twitter and what it helps you do is first you define a specific goal for your nonprofit church or ministry. For example, add to cart could be a goal on your website or subscribing to something could be your goal on your website. So you choose this specific goal, then you allow Twitter to go after people who are likely to take that particular action. So it could be very handy for uh, specific uh, advertising objectives and goals. So share this information with your advertising team and see if you can use this, especially during this holiday season. WhatsApp has confirmed to TechCrunch that they are releasing a new feature called Message Yourself and rolling it out globally. Uh, this is similar to a feature that already exists with uh, their competitor apps like Signal, uh, where the feature is called a Note to Self, where you select yourself as a contact and send yourself messages like messages that could be reminders or notes or things you want to remember and then you pin that chat right at the top so that you don't miss it so it's a very simple feature but what i wanted to bring to your attention as a leader of a church or ministry is uh, how whatsapp is making itself indispensable in people's everyday life already millions of people in major parts of the world use WhatsApp for communicating with uh, uh, you know, their friends and family. But now with this note-taking app, they're going to be opening it every day multiple times. So this is a good channel for you to reach and communicate with people. So do include this in your 2023 planning. LinkedIn has announced new features and tools that could upgrade the experience of company pages for your LinkedIn users. So as a nonprofit ministry, one of the things that could help you establish thought leadership in uh, your area of work, let's say you uh, advocate for a particular cause, then you can release newsletters inside LinkedIn that establishes you as a thought leader. Now, this particular announcement last week comes uh, from LinkedIn highlighting the ability of LinkedIn to showcase your newsletter uh, as the center focal point of your company page. So when you establish your ministry page, now uh, LinkedIn will do a few extra things to get people to subscribe to your LinkedIn newsletter. And they even have added SEO options and competitor analysis and some interesting uh, new features into this. Pinterest has announced that their app is now available in three new languages. First is Afrikaans. For all my dear South African friends, love South Africa. Uh, second is Croatian and the third is Bulgarian. So um, Pinterest now with these three languages takes the total tally of their language list to 41 different languages around the globe. Uh, if you've not yet considered Pinterest as a channel for your nonprofit ministry, then in 2023, you might want to take a look at this because there are 400 million uh, users, according to this report from Pinterest, uh, that come from different parts of the world and uh, they pin or save 8.5 billion boards. So basically, uh, Pinterest boards are these visual content types that also link back to the website. So could be a channel that you might want to consider diversifying into or checking out in 2023. 
In our Web3 News Roundup, we have two interesting news items. One is from the automobile major Porsche that is uh, releasing a series of Web3 projects centered around its iconic brand Porsche 911. If you're a fan of Porsche 911 like me, then you will find this news very fascinating. Do check it out. The second big news is from uh, this uh, company called Ping Fong, which is behind the song, very popular kids song called Baby Shark. If you have kids, you probably heard the song baby shark do, 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 do. now that song they are entering the nft space and they are tokenizing the whole uh, baby shark you know the the whole characters and everything and uh, they are now wanting all the kids and the families of the kids that are less than 12 years old to collect these nfts so very interesting model so uh, i will link to it in the show notes uh, check out that whole news story it will, it will start opening your mind to new ways of using it NFTs. If you have any questions or thoughts on any of the stories, do leave them in the comment section or you can email me or the simplest way is just DM me at Nachi Lazarus on Instagram or on Twitter. We'll make sure we get you the answers. Uh, also check out the uh, source links and details in the description section of every single story that we talked about. Uh, you can dig deeper and have a look at each of the stories. Thank you. I'll see you next week with another set of news items. Until then, you stay connected and stay blessed. God bless you. Bye-bye.